Did you know that a lot of test takers don't get the score they need on the rights, the IELTS writing section? Because they don't know what the person marking their essay is really expecting. You need to know what is expected when it comes to the, the writing task. And if you don't know what, it's, what is expected, you'll make ver three very common mistakes. And what I want to do is share with you that these three common mistakes, for example, not answering the question or not planning your essay or trying to be too fancy with your words and sentences, these are the things that will get you into trouble. But you can avoid these three mistakes and you can up, come up with a better alternative uh, when it comes to the writing section. And that's what I'm going to share with you right now. So let's get started and talk about the mistakes to avoid in, in the writing section and to make sure you really stop doing these three things. And the first mistake is when you don't answer the question. And there are a lot of reasons why test takers don't answer the question. And it's not because they don't understand what they're asked to write about. It's because of their preparation. So many test takers make the mistake of trying to analyze previous IELTS essays on different topics and even memorize what's said and what's done in these essays. And what happens is they're so anxious when it comes to uh, writing a good essay that they, they try to impress the examiner or the marker with an essay that's not really their own. And the important thing is when you are answering a uh, writing task two, you're giving your opinion and you're giving your ideas and your thoughts and your feelings, not somebody else's. So memorizing essay templates and different expressions and paragraphs that are used in other, other essays are not going to help you accomplish the task that you need to accomplish in IELTS writing because you really do need to address the topic. You need to answer the question that you're given. And even though there are common topics from other IELTS essays, exams, the question will not be exactly the same. So you may have to say whether you agree or disagree or offer a solution to a problem, but it has to be your opinion. It has to be your solution. You have to share your ideas and your thoughts and your feelings about the topic that you're given and be very specific and just share your opinion. You're not going to be judged on your opinion. There are no right or wrong opinions. Just make sure that you stick to the topic and answer the question specifically that you are given for that essay. Don't try to come in with prepared answers and, and things that you've memorized ahead of time. They will not work when it comes to getting a good score in IELTS writing. And the second mistake is that you don't plan ahead before you start writing your essay. One of the main criteria for the for IELTS writing task two is called coherence and cohesion. And this is really how you structure your essay. And what you have to do before you begin writing is to make sure you plan everything that's going to go into the body of your essay so that even before you begin writing, you know exactly how you're going to structure your essay. And it has to make sense. It has to be logical. It has to be well planned. So I recommend that you spend even eight to 10 minutes planning your essay before you start writing. You know, you have 40 minutes to write task two. And if you take eight to 10 minutes planning and structuring your essay before you start writing, you'll write a much better essay in 30 minutes than you would in 40 minutes. And when it comes to structuring your essay, there's just three simple things that you need to include. 
And this is basically a good outline for uh, a paragraph. Just state your opinion, explain it, and give a good example that comes from your own life and your own experience. And if this is included in each paragraph of your essay and structured and planned ahead of time, you'll get a better score in your uh, essay writing. If you want some very specific tips and more details on how to uh, structure your essay, check out my video. Uh, subscribe to this channel and there are two or three really good videos that will help you uh, when it comes to planning and structuring your essay and even writing a well-structured paragraph and sentences. So check that out. Uh, don't hesitate to uh, like this lesson and share it with others because it will be uh, this is one of the most common mistakes that's made when it comes to writing task two and you want to make sure that you avoid it. And that leads right into the third mistake that so many test takers be. They try to be too fancy. As if by using special words and phrases and having complicated grammar and sentence structure, you can somehow impress the person marking your essay and get a, uh, a better score. And nothing could be further from the truth because you have to use your own words and express your own thoughts and ideas in your own way. And if you have a high intermediate level of English or advanced level, which is required to get a good score on the IELTS exam, you'll have more than enough vocabulary. You'll have more than enough words to express yourself clearly and state your opinion. And you'll have more a uh, high enough level of grammar to use appropriate grammar structure and sentence structure you want to be very clear that you use vocabulary and grammar that's appropriate for the way that you express yourself on a day-to-day -day basis you want to use words that you're confident using and that you're comfortable using one of the big mistakes that so many test takers make is trying to memorize dozens and dozens of academic words from an academic word list. And the problem is you may end up knowing a lot of fancy words, but you don't know how to use them properly. And there's a big difference between inserting a fancy word uh, into your essay and making sure that it's the appropriate word for that occasion. And this is the mistake that so many test takers make. If you have that high enough level of English for the IELTS exam, then be confident that you have enough vocabulary and you know the grammar structures and that you can use these confidently and comfortably when it comes to the IELTS exam. You know, on test day, you are going to be nervous. You are going to feel a little tense and maybe a little anxious. But the important thing is to use the vocabulary and grammar where you can stay confident. And you can stay comfortable knowing that when you use a word, it's the best word for that situation. It's the best word that you can use to clearly communicate your opinion and your thoughts and your ideas. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you'll avoid these three mistakes and get a good score when it comes to your uh, the writing section and if you need any more tips or help there are lots of videos so subscribe to this youtube channel and i wish you all the best on your journey as you continue to prepare for the ielts exam